This one concept allows engineers to be lazy basically. And without it, something could go wrong, potentially putting people's lives at risk. It's called the factor of safety. And if this number goes less than one, something bad is gonna happen. To simply put it, it's the strength of the material divided by the load that the material is experiencing. So if the load or stress is way too big, considering the material strength, then this number will become less than one. And that's when it's gonna fail. And that's why we need this number to become greater than one so that the strength of the material is more than the load that it's experiencing. The thing is in practice, the lower the design factor of safety, the more cost and more work you're gonna have to put into the actual the design. Therefore, engineers can just design this number to be bigger, lessening the analysis that they actually have to do. And at the end of the day, the work that they have to do. But yeah, if a factor of safety is lower, that's more analysis that's required. If it's higher, then it's less analysis required, but it might cost more. And this is exactly why NASA rockets have such low factors of safety, because they're really trying to push their designs and they have to do so much analysis in order to make sure that their designs actually work and on the other hand you have bridges which have factors of safety of like around two and elevators with like eight to ten and that's because you don't want to be pushing these designs that much in engineering because you want to make sure at the end of the day that those ones are very very safe and you don't want to spend forever analyzing them so yeah that's the factor of safety <laughs>